women who are diagnosed with breast cancer are in an incredibly vulnerable state. And many times, especially women with more advanced stage cancers and even stage four, are looking for anything, as most of us would, that will help them get better. And there is a fair amount of predatory nature with some of these touting of supplements out there. Um, it's A lot of it is purely commercial and um, really for profit. And again, I, I want to echo what, what Alex said, which is so true, is these things are not regulated. They're not subject to the same level of scrutiny. And we're all obviously um, so suspicious of medications and things like that. Well, at least we know with medications what we're getting. There is no free ride. There is, there's no medication that doesn't have a side effect. And we're all very loath of those things. These are things that they all have side effects. You, you can't have something that has any positive biological effect and, eff and expect that it won't have some negative biological effect. And with the supplements, they're a black box. And so what I tell patients, there are patients who come in all the time on multiple, multiple supplements when they're diagnosed with breast cancer. And I think the important thing to know is that people say, OK, I'm going to take this vitamin X or whatever because it boosts my immune system. And it's going to be really good for me to prepare for surgery. That person still has cancer in their body. And one of the things that I turn around to them and say is, how do you, when you put something in your mouth, do you get to pick and choose where it goes? So do we know that this immune booster isn't being gobbled up by the cancer cells and being used to have an unfair advantage against you and your health and so forth? People want to take vitamin, we don't have a radiation specialist here, but people like to take, think about taking vitamin E when they're getting radiation because it reduces the skin damage. Well, radiation's goal is to damage cells, preferentially the bad cells over the good cells, but that's what it does. And when you put vitamin E in your mouth, you do not get to pick and choose whether or not the cancer cells or the normal cells are using it as an unfair advantage to fight off the treatment that we're intentionally giving. So it's, it's very, it's a cause that's very close to my heart, the whole idea of people taking supplements out of vulnerability thinking that the money, whatever it is they spend, is going to good use. So I, I would urge all of you to reconsider whatever it is you're taking and what the potential benefit is and who's selling it to you and whether it's coming from their office and who's financially benefiting and so forth.